Hi and welcome to my studio. In this video I'm going to be showing you how I painted this portrait here. Uh, it's a little portrait, little oil painting on a wooden board. So I filmed this whole process from start to finish, so from the initial drawing stage to the final brush marks. Um, the video was filmed for my short form video channel, so it was mainly for my Instagram TikTok. And I made a little reel which is like a 30 second whiz through. So I have had quite a few of you asking uh, for a slightly longer, more detailed version. This is a portrait of my dad and it's the first in a little series that I've created. So I'll be posting those videos up on my channel in the coming weeks. So if you find this video helpful, if you enjoyed it, do check out my other videos. Drop me a comment in the comment section below if there's anything in particular you'd like to see in future about the painting process because I'm going to be making more videos and it would be great to know what you would like to see. For this quick oil study of my dad, I chose a wooden board. I primed it with about three coats, I'd say, of gesso just to give it a solid base between the board and the paint. Now, I always start my paintings, well, not always, but usually I start my portrait paintings just using a bit of oil paint that I've thinned down with turpentine use a sort of thinnish brush just to draw out the main uh, points of the portrait. So the main shapes, the main positions of the features and make sure that I'm happy. I mean, this drawing could be a little cleaner, but um, it makes sense to the way my brain works, which is, uh, yeah, it, it is the way it is. So yeah, uh, I try to clean up the marks and stuff that aren't helpful to me. But at the end of the day, I don't want a perfect drawing. I just want to get on with the actual paint and a lot of the stuff gets figured out with the paint. I think that's the beauty of doing paintings like this that you haven't measured out. I mean, I never measure out anything or trace anything. I just go freehand. And so things can be a bit wonky, um, as you see here, like the eyes and stuff aren't perfect. But at the end of the painting, I figured it out because, you know, paint, you can move around and figure it out as you go. And I find that the painting has a bit more life um, at the end of the process in this way. So I've started putting the paint on brush mark by brush mark, as you can see. I tend to always start with the deep dark colours, just because sort of psychologically it's going to put that mark down and I find it a lot harder to start with light colours and then put down darks. That's just, just, just the way my brain works. Um, but I like to sort of build the portrait each brush mark and I re-mix the colour um, and put like each nuance in as I go. Obviously this isn't perfect and you know the painting process isn't so simple so then you go in and you can the beauty of oil paint is you can go in and move things around and, and change and adjust and um, as you can see I do that quite a lot and in the end I'll come back and tweak and sometimes end up fiddling around for ages around one area um, but in the end I think in this painting I, I, I feel it was quite successful. So here I'm painting a face that I know very, very well. It is a portrait of my father who passed away a few years ago, but I have painted his portrait many, many times and drawn him over the years when he was alive and after he died. So um, it, it, it is a face I know quite well. I guess I should talk a little bit about the palette I'm using for this painting. The palette uh, for this painting is basically my usual palette and it's a very limited palette. Uh, it's by using a limited palette, I feel that you can actually get more out of the colors that you have. And because I understand how these colors interact with each other so well, I really don't feel like I need um, anything else. And it also, by having a limited palette, you keep the harmony within the composition and the painting and you can sort of manipulate it and get, you can actually get a lot out of very, very few colors. Um, but yeah, I guess that's, uh, that's something for another video. Couple of words about the subject. As I said, it's my father who passed away a few years ago. Um, he was quite a complicated and uh, character. Yeah, complicated character. It was. It wasn't the easiest uh, upbringing that we had. He was sent here when he was very, very young by his dad from Singapore. I think he really wanted to come here. Um, he wanted to stay in Singapore. So his parents were actually originally from Sri Lanka, and his father was very, very strict. And packed my dad um, in a ship and sent him here to London for the, I don't know, bigger, better life, whatever it is, I don't really know. He don't really talk about, about um, the reasons for everything. 
He didn't really talk that much. I think he found it very difficult to talk about his family and his past. I did know my grandma. Again, very complicated character. So I sort of quite cut off from that side of my family. Um, but anyway, maybe that's why I'm so difficult myself. Who knows? <laughs> should get it from him. I have painted him many times over the years. And on Father's Day this year, when I was supposed to be doing other things, I thought um, to do this portrait. It's kind of a way of communicating, I guess, with, with him. He's not here anymore. Uh, and it's from a time when he was in a care home. He had dementia and he kind of went back to his childhood state. And it was the first time I actually could hang out with him and talk to him. So uh, I do value those moments. And this was towards the end where I think he was much, much happier, weirdly, in, in when he his brain went back to that way by that I mean sort of a childlike way of, of being and sort of you forget all the adult things and you forget all the things that um, fuck up your life later on in life anyway that's a bit about my dad thank you so much for staying to the end of this video I really do appreciate it I've got more videos like this coming up so do make sure to check those out too